it is very important that we have a revelation of places, of people, and of seasons. It is very important that we have a revelation of places. When the angel with the drawn sword was encountered by Joshua in Joshua chapter number 5, and, and Joshua approached that angel and asked him, are you for us or are you for our adversaries? And the angel of the Lord responded and said, I'm here as the commander of the Lord's army. The last verse of that Joshua chapter 5, the angel said something to Joshua. He said, the ground on which we are standing is holy. So a land, an address, a location can be hallowed. It can be a hallowed address, a hallowed location. No wonder... God said to Jeremiah in chapter 18 of the book of Jeremiah, go to the potter's house. That's the hallowed address where you can pick my signals, where you can hear my voice. Go to that place. They will cause you to hear my words. The Bible told us in Genesis 22 and verse 1, the Lord tested Abraham after these things. And God said to Abraham, take Isaac, your son, your only son, Offer him, to him, offer him to me on a mountain that I will tell you of. You can just offer him anywhere. There is a place, a specific address where this offering will become acceptable to God. That's why we come to realize today that Jehovah Jireh is not just the name of a person, it's the name of a place. Genesis 22 and verse 14. And he called the name of the place, the Lord will provide name of a place the Lord will provide Genesis 32 and verse 29 and the Lord blessed him there so we need a revelation of places Jacob said in Genesis 28 and verse 16 surely the Lord is in this place and I did not know it we need a revelation of places we need a revelation of people second Corinthians 5 and verse 16, Paul said, Henceforth know we no man after the flesh. A revelation of who they really are, their identity from a divine perspective. A revelation of people is so critical. Elisha asked Elijah for twice as much of the grace that was upon him. And in 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 10, Elijah said to Elisha, If you see when I am taken, if you see when I go, then what you have asked for can become a reality for you. So it is important that we have a revelation of people. When Jesus asked the disciples, who do, the, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they began to say all sorts. Then he said, who do you say that I am? And then Peter spoke by the Spirit of God. And Jesus said, Flesh and blood has not revealed this. Meaning that this is not coming from experience. It is coming by revelation. It is important that you don't just relate to men based on your experience of them. Your experience of them. Your experience of them as your spouse. Your experience of them as your colleague. Your experience of them as your child or your parent. You must learn to relate to people by revelation. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you because your perception is going to affect your reception. Your perception is going to aid the fulfillment of the reason why God brought them into your life. Psalm 118 and verse 26. Blessed is he who has come in the name of the Lord. God does send men to men. John chapter 1 and verse 6. There was a man sent from God. There was a man sent from God. So God does send men to men. He can send them a colleague at work to you. He can send your spouse to you. He can send a stranger to you. Isaiah 46 and verse 11, calling the ravenous blood from the east and the executors of his counsel from a far country. It is important that from time to time, we do an assessment and ask ourselves, I hope I'm not getting over familiar with the people in my life. Because the greater the familiarity, the lesser your awareness of your true identity, why God has placed them in your life. 
God one day spoke through the mouth of a donkey to Balaam. Through the mouth of the donkey. So God can use the least likely at times to communicate his heart, his intent. Just to salvage a moment in your life. Mary was the mother of Jesus. When they wanted wine, she turns to a man who was not a wine distiller. A man who was raised before her eyes as a carpenter. He turns to a, a man who was raised under our watch and says, they want wine. So she was relating to Jesus by revelation. By revelation. And without a brewery, there was wine. Because of a woman of discernment. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. We need a revelation of seasons as well in our lives. Because God operates in seasons, in seasons. Psalm 75 and verse 2. When I choose the proper time, I will judge uprightly. A revelation of seasons. Be like the sons of Issachar. Having a discernment of seasons. There are seasons of divine visitation. There are times of refreshing from the presence of God. 